Welcome back. In this lesson, we are starting to work on the system. The way that you can get the most out of this lesson and future lessons is that whenever I'm running on different features, use the pause button. So I will teach you something, click on pause, do it, and then continue. I am running relatively fast on the different features, otherwise this course will take 55 hours. So I am doing it relatively fast, Whenever I am finishing one section, click on pause, take action, and continue to the next section of the lesson. In this lesson, we are going to work on Zo CRM. We are going to go over all the very, very important configurations that each one of you must do. It's not optional. It's a must. Okay, so let's begin. So from your Zo 1, on the left side, you will see that one of the links will be Zoho CRM. If you don't see Zoho CRM, there is a chance that it's not added to your system or it's maybe hiding somewhere. So if it's not here, you will go to more apps and then you will see if Zoho CRM exists here. If it's not here, you will need to go back to the directory. You will go to the applications you will go to add application and you will add Zo CRM. For me, Zo CRM is added, so I can't do it again, but you will see Zo CRM, you will click on add and then Zo CRM will be added. Once you do that, on the left side, you will see Zo CRM or you will see it under the additional applications. You have two options. Option number one will be to click here on Zo CRM and then Zo CRM will be opened in the ZO1 panel. Another option which I recommend is to go to crm.zo.com. Okay, and then the interface will be a little bit different and it will give you more options. So I like it much more than this interface. Okay, so let's go to crm.zo.com and you can see that the interface is a bit different. Okay, let's go here to CRM. You see, it's a little bit different. I think it's less confusing. And also, sometimes this interface works a little bit better. So I would stay with it. There are a few things that we are going to do on Zoho CRM just to start with. First, we are going to sync your email with Zoho CRM. And in order to do that, you will click on the settings on the top. You will go under channels, you will click on email. And then beside compose, you will click on email again. Okay, and you're supposed to see something like that. Now, if you're an existing user and you see the integration and something says here error or sync failed or anything that is not, not great. I will need you to do the integration again, exactly what we're doing now. So you will click in order to integrate your email, you will need to click on get started. You will choose the service that you want to integrate with. So let's say in my case, it will be Zoho Mail, but in your case, it might be a Gmail, Office 365 or other emails. Everything is the same. You will click on the service and you will always go with IMAP integration. If it's not IMAP integration, you're basically asking the system to download the emails to your system, and that will be a pop option. If the emails are being downloaded to your CRM, it will consume space and eventually you will pay for it extra. I don't want you to pay extra, so let's go with IMAP, IMAP integration. Let's click on configure, and here you will need to provide the different details. Those will be your email login details. In my case, it's Zoho, so it will be the Zoho login details. Let's try one more and that will be the Gmail as an example. With Gmail, I go again with IMAP. I don't go with POP or something else. And then the system is asking me to authenticate my email. Basically, it will ask you to log into your Gmail account and then it will do the magic automatically for you. Okay, and this is how you connect your email. Once you authenticated, the system will ask you what you want to do with the sharing, which means whenever your emails are being synced, if only you can see those emails, 
if everybody in your company can see those emails or maybe some custom sharing. What I recommend you to do is that the management will have it on private mode because you don't want people to see the emails that are going between the management. And whenever it's employees, then it will be shared with everyone in the organization and everybody can see the communications. It's very useful whenever multiple people are managing a single client, everybody can see what happened with the client. It's very useful. So let me click on public and then I will click on update. Okay, that was the email configuration. Next, we're jumping to the calendar. The calendar integration can be done in a few levels. If you have Zo Mail, then the Zo calendar integration will take place from the Zo Mail side, which I will show you in a second. If you have Gmail or Outlook, it will be from different places. So first of all, let me show you the different areas. If you will go to the settings, and then you will go under Marketplace, you will see that you have here Microsoft and Google. If you like to connect an Office 365 calendar, you will click on the Microsoft and then you will click on Enable under Meetings. And then that will connect your Office 365. If you have Outlook, you will do it from here. If you have Google, you will go to the under Marketplace, you click on Google. And then here you will have the calendar option. You click on calendar and then you authenticate your Google Calendar. Same thing like I showed you before. If you have Zo Mail, you will have the Zo Calendar. You will need to go to mail.zo.com and from here you can connect your calendar account. You will go to the calendar on the left side. You will go to the settings on the right top. Then under App Calendars, you will click on that and then you will see the Zo CRM option. You will select the organization. You should have only one. And then you click on Sync Now. And now Zo CRM is synced with your Zo Calendar. Next, we are going to set up your signature. Whenever you are going to send emails using Zo CRM, you will like to have your signature in it. Now, every user in the company is supposed to do it. Everything that we are doing right now, syncing your email, syncing your calendar, syncing your signature, and the more things that I will show you in this lesson, every employee in the company is supposed to do it for himself. So you can share this lesson with everybody in the company. It's important because if not, their emails will go to spam, their bookings will not be in the calendar, and so on and so on. In order to add the signature, you will click on Setup. You will click on Email under Channels. You will go to this page and then you will see that you have your email signature. You will click on Add New Signature. You will give it a name. I will just write Default. And here you will have the signature. It's all that you can write your signature. Or in my case, I just went to my Gmail and I just copied the signature from my Gmail and then I click on save. Okay, now if you have Outlook, try to copy it from the web interface, not from the Outlook itself because it won't be great. And I will need to select the email and let's click here and click on save. Now, if I will go to one of my leads, and I will try to send an email. Let me just write here. If I click on send email, you can see that my signature is automatically loaded. And that's awesome. That's what we need. Also in the future, whenever we are going to work with email templates, we can load the user signature automatically into the template. So we use one email template for multiple users extremely useful. Next, we are going to the personal details. If I will go to the settings on the top, and then I will go to the personal details under general, I will click on the pencil on the right, and then I will be able to add the different details to this page. It's important to add at least the phone number to this page. 
and of course verify that the first name, last name is correct. The main reason is that sometimes you will have email templates that will say, I tried to give you a call, but there was no answer. Please give me a call back too. And this phone number will be pulled to those templates. So you can use one template for multiple employees and the phone number will be pulled from here. So it's important to have a, a working phone number in this area. On the bottom, you can also find a few important things. You will have the local information. You will see that my time zone is GMT4 minus 4, which is a, a Toronto, but you can also change it to whatever you want. You can change the language, you can change the, the country locals and so on. And if you click here, you can see that you can make those changes. And also on the bottom, you can change the way that the system looks like. It's not that customizable, but again, it's okay. This is, this is the customization that we have right now. And the last thing that I want to show you will be the marketplace. If you go to the marketplace under settings, you can click on all. And then you can see different extensions that you can extend the system. I don't recommend you just to click and add different extensions without the need, because some of them will be paid, some of them will be free. But the problem is that those extensions will add more fields to your system. And then removing them sometimes not working as you expected. So in this case, for example, let's assume that this is our extension, by the way. So let's say that if you click on the ABR account relationship and you want to install it, you can click on buy now, or it will give you, I think, also a free trial. Not on my side, because I use the free trial. But anyway, if you install it, then it will add the application to your system and it will add different fields and different options. Okay, so just so you know that you have this option to extend ZO CRM from this area, from the marketplace. Okay, so all those were basic settings on how to set up your system. Please take action on this lesson and whenever you're done, go to the next lesson. Each person in your organization is supposed to take the actions from this lesson. And if not, there will be issues that you don't want to have with your ZO CRM. Thank you for watching the lesson. If you'd like to know more about us, we are amazing business results. We are a ZO Premium Partner and we offer a few services. One service will be custom ZO development. That means that you're coming with your own business problems and we'll find the right ZO solutions for your needs. We also develop extensions. Those extensions will be applications that we created that are plug and play to your ZO system. And each one of, of those extensions will solve a specific business problems for units. We are also a Ring Central reseller, which means we can sell you the Ring Central system, which is a phone and text message system. And because you're buying it from us, we'll give you the license to use our extension for free for one year.